Beth Storks, one of Carrickstown's residents, in a special hour-long episode tonight at 7.30. But now someone's trying to track down Joey in Shortland Street. And don't even think about coming near me again. Joey's got a storage unit. What does he need a storage unit for? What does he keep in it? I suppose it is a ridiculous thought that we might be living with a serial killer. I didn't think that. You didn't? No. You did? Of course not. That's why I said it was a ridiculous thought. Yes, it is. Don't be silly. We should come in together more often. Well, I like riding my bike. And you haven't even started your shift yet. I hope you're not doing more overtime. And I hope it's not on my account. I'd hate to think that I was driving you out of your own home. Tell you what. You lay off the overtime and I'll put my hand up for a few extra shifts at work. Give you some more space at home. Morning. Hi. Coffee? Definitely. Catch you soon. It's pointless and it's a pair up. It's a suggestions box. Well, I got rid of it. It's so tacky. And now he's got people emailing him their suggestions. It's just another example of Callum abusing his position as temporary CEO. It's unacceptable. Calling for feedback from the staff is hardly an abuse of power. Yeah, I'm all for it. I've already put him for a beer fridge in the staff room and a skate ramp in the ammo bay. Oh, you see? Pure I reckon it takes a confident manager to open himself up to potential criticism. I say good on him. You see, Libby? No one else has a problem with it. Hey, hey morning. Sorry, Libby. Do you guys keep going after I crashed out? Uh, no, not really. Oh, cheers for the beers again. Yeah, no worries. I'm sorry I couldn't do the distance, man. I'm turning into a lightweight, bro. Hmm. No, I could do something again tonight, if you want. I've got a manager at the bar. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Gerald? Yeah, does it have to be drinking, though? What else is there? <laughs> I don't know. A movie? Oh, actually, damn it. I've still got some work to do on my level three portfolio, so maybe we should make it another time. Okay, cool. <clears throat> it was just an excuse, wasn't it? Hmm? As soon as I'm involved, you remember you have something else to do. Are we really all right, Joey? Yes, we're all right. We sorted it out last night, bro. What? I said I'm sorry. What more do you want from me? Nothing. I just, I hate there being tension, that's all. There is none. Okay, that's what the beers were for. Whatever, I see where. <laughs> Mail? Thank you. Uh, someone has suggested a beer fridge in the staff room. Well, I certainly hope not all the suggestions are silly ones. Yeah, a lot of them are, yes, but there are one or two worth considering. Well, that's good news. The open-minded approach has paid off. From what I can see, the staff are flattered to be asked for their input, and a happy staff means a happy workplace, which can only be good. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Libby. So, uh, what are they, these suggestions worth considering? Uh, well, music therapy with iPods, loaded with tracks to reduce anxiety and stress issued to patients as needed. So, um, handing out headsets like we're on the airline. <laughs> uh, what's next? Little peanuts and a drinks menu? Right, uh, you might as well just leave me to it, Libby. I'm just trying to be realistic, trying to put myself in Chris's shoes and think about the kind of things he would condone. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm the one wearing Chris's shoes. Of course. What I meant was, well, my job is to make your job run more smoothly. So, how about I take charge of the suggestions and I'll go through the list, filter out all the silly, time-wasting ones, like Kip Denton's skateboard ramp in the Ambo Bay, mm -hmm. giving you more time to consider any valid suggestions. Thank you, but no. You're not due to start for an hour or two, you know? Uh, no, just familiarising myself with some protocols. Got some finishing touches to add to my case study. My level 3 application will be on your desk in a moment. Good on you. Uh, I can start with you now, though, if you want. No, no, we're good. Sweet, as you were. Actually, if you've got any extra shifts going, I wouldn't mind the overtime. Don't you spend enough time at work? <laughs> Joey, I admire your commitment. It bodes well for your assessment. Thank you. But you have to take a break sometime. You don't want to burn out. 
it's not that. I, I'm just finding home really claustrophobic at the moment. You know, three guys all in a small house and Gerald's so full on. Work can be a good refuge when you need time out from your flatmates. Yeah, you got it. So how about tonight? I'm totally good to do the double. Oh, we're fully covered tonight, Joey. Just relax. Go for a run, have a drink, see a movie. Get your mind off work for a few hours. You're one year post-gastric bypass and you had the operation to... Yes. Drop four dress sizes. Excellent. But now, bleeding ulcer causing anemia, nausea... Best we have a look and see what's going on in there. So tell me, you work full time, you have three children. Mm. Must be hard going. Extremely. Do you get stressed a lot? Only every day. Have you ever tried meditation, Mrs. Balfour? <laughs> sure. If I ever had the time. I'm thinking about after the operation. Mm. I know a technique that can both ease your pain and speed up recovery. Look, I'll give anything a go. I mean, last time was hell. Hi again. Excuse me, Dinesh. You wouldn't be recommending alternative treatment again, would you? Not treatment, no, just pain management. Qigong meditation works, Dr. Jones. Really? You have scientific proof of that, do you? Higuchi found in 1995 that subjects practicing it displayed a 35% increase in endorphins, thereby empowering their immune systems and providing effective natural pain relief. Even so, you're employed at Shortland Street as a surgical registrar, not a holistic healer. If that's what you want to do, find somewhere else to do it. You've never advised a patient to exercise more or drink more water or get more fresh air? Your time would be better spent preparing for the potential complications in your upcoming surgery. I intend to do that. Good. Because I'll be taking a very keen interest in your performance and result. Chris treats me like I'm an integral part of his management team, yet to Callum I am nothing more than a stupid secretary. Pratt. Pig! I'll be gone for an hour. Certainly. And uh, may I ask where you'll be going? Uh, I'm going to see a staff member about a suggestion, actually. Wonderful. And which staff member might that be? <laughs> I'll be back for my 11.30 and I'll be on the mobile if anything urgent comes up, okay? Great, bye. Well, you see, he won't even tell me who he's going to meet. I need to know these things. Why? Uh, because I am PA to the CEO, Gerald. And do you know what else? He utterly refused to show me any of the suggestions he's been getting. <laughs> Maybe that's because someone suggested he get a PA with a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Nothing. I heard someone say it in the staff room before. Who? Oh. No one. I don't know. Hey, maybe he's refusing to show you suggestions because you were right and they were all stupid and it's all been a colossal waste of time. Ah, and he doesn't want me to know that I am smarter than he is. Yeah, that'll so be it. You know, Gerald, that is why we're friends, because you and I think alike. We can read people. Mm, we can also read the suggestions if he's left them on his desk. <laughs> I'm joking, doll. Help you.